how to become a dentist in Canada if you are a dentist from one of these countries. This question has been asked in internet so many times, yet not even one person has answered this question correctly and completely. Do you know why? Just watch it after this intro. There are so many different sources out there who can give you some information about immigration to Canada, how to become a dentist, and how to live a happy, prosperous life as an immigrant. Are you from one of these countries? If not, then you cannot practice dentistry directly in Canada. So you have to go through a certain process so that your dentistry from your country will become equivalent to dentistry in Canada. Let's get to the website which gives you the best information and the most correct and appropriate information, which is National Dental Examination Board of Canada. There is so much information available about it. Let's try to get on this website, ndeb.ca. Check out how this website looks and what kind of information can we get from here. So here is how the website looks like. Now I can open so many different tabs for accredited and non-accredited program. First of all, this chart is amazing. This chart gives you every bit of information that you will need on how to become a dentist in Canada or how to get a license as an international dentist and which will talk about everything that you need to know about getting a license to practice in Canada. So if you are watching this video, most likely you are not from the accredited uh, dental programs. We all are part of the non-accredited dental programs and it's fair enough. So let's go ahead and check out different options available on this website. You can check out all the reference materials about NDEB and different publications. Uh, down here, you would see what is the required documentation process to register into NDEB. So I would select my country as India and I would go ahead either apply online or review what kind of documents or different formalities I need to complete the process so that my educational degree is now recognized by NDEB and I can go ahead with the rest of licensing process. Another important tab is to check out the fees for each of these exams as well. If you are not from an accredited program, you have to go through either a direct licensing process in which you clear three exams and get license to practice in Canada. Or you can go to a dental school, complete the international dentist training program and get a DDS degree so that you can practice to Canada. Now, which of these two paths is great? No one can tell you. They both are equally competitive and quite challenging it requires a lot of commitment, perseverance, and a long journey to get in either of those two categories. Which is the fastest of these two? We cannot tell you. Which is the easier of these two? No one knows this. So please do not make this kind of uh, prediction or this kind of assessment that which is easier one, I'll take that one. You should keep your options open at both ends and just keep going with what the life gives you. Do you know what is more important when you immigrate to Canada? You were a dentist in one of these countries here or here, but still you chose to come to Canada to live a new life. Is being a dentist only reason for you to move to Canada? Is this is the only thing that you want in the world to move or immigrate to Canada, change your entire life, leave all your friends and family behind just so that you become a dentist in this country? If this is exactly your motive, then I do not have much information for you because your goal is pretty clear. You are a very ambitious person. I, on the other hand, was not this ambitious. I had my goals in layers. My first goal was to immigrate to Canada, live a new life, check out this new country. I loved snow. I loved all different skiing and ice skating. I do all these winter activities. I go on trails, all these things about Canada. I had so many other options. I started working. I learned new things. I did so many education programs here. It's great if you become a dentist in Canada. Dentist still in North America is among the top earners. So it is great if you become a dentist in Canada. There is nothing better than that. But if you are not becoming a dentist in Canada, 
does that stop your life does that take away your happiness does that ruin the entire fun of immigrating to a new country starting a new life and having a new perspective to your yourself and your family if if you are not becoming a dentist it should not be so depressing and hardship yes it's great if you become a dentist following one of these two paths but if we don't then we should have some backup options we should have some other perspective for our life when i came to canada i came here as an international student and uh, i started with a masters in health administration program it is a very prestigious program first i gave gre i got a score of 319 i was very happy i gave ielts and i got a score of uh, 1.58 and uh, after that i got into dalhousie university health administration program trust me it is not it was not meant for me it was very challenging very daunting i don't know for some reason all dentists or doctors think once they want to immigrate they can do only three programs masters in public health masters in health administration or masters in biomedical engineering or something like that while the world is not so small if we have done dentistry it does not mean that we have to stick to healthcare now if you are getting a chance to move to a new country and you have dentistry as a career already on your back sack you just have to clear the equivalency process and you can become a dentist here so that is clear but in terms of education don't think that a masters in health administration a masters in public health will just put some stars on your shoulder and you will get admission into dds program right away this is not true and above all this is not something that you want to do after all these years you are getting another chance when you can move to a new country start a new life but you still choose the same orthodox way of choosing a career no i would say try out different career options So in this video series I'm going to talk about few things. Number 1, how to become a dentist in Canada via the equivalency process. Number 2, how to become a dentist via DDS program route by taking a dental doctor of dental surgery program in Canada like Dalhousie University, University of Toronto or any other education institute in Canada which offer training to internationally trained dentist. Number 3, If you are moving here as an international student, if that is your plan for immigration that I would go there, I'll study something, I'll work, I'll apply for permanent residence and then jump into doctor of dental surgery program or any other DDS route. That's a great idea and I'm going to talk about it in the next video. But if you are planning to come to Canada as an international student and you have a dentistry or medicine background or pharmacy, physiotherapy, any kind of medical background in India, What are the best courses and best options that you should go for? This is going to be amazing because no one talks about it. All the travel consultants are there to misguide you by sending you to some private universities and private colleges just so that they can earn some commission. While in via this video, I'm going to give you a very inside information from Canada while working in Canada in educational institutes, while being a dentist and while studying dentistry. I cannot uh cannot be more excited on how much information you can get from this video make sure you check out these three videos and tell me in the comments what do you feel about it the more comments i receive the more i know what are the questions that my friends all over the world are looking for to get answered i'm so happy and so excited to be part of your journey and hey dreams are only dreams until you wake up and make them true make sure you like this channel share with a friend who is in the same journey and subscribe to my channel